There's a simple reason why the world should care about Yemen. It's the worst humanitarian crisis that it faces today, according to the United Nations. You have a child dying because of conflict every 12 minutes. You have levels of malnutrition, hunger, starvation, that, and cholera that are rivaling anything we're seeing anywhere else in the world. And it's a conflict that can be ended if people take the right decisions. As with most conflicts, there's a complex number of reasons why it began, why it's continuing, why it's not ending. Local grievances that go back a very long time, regional players that are using proxies on the ground to advance their own interests, and global powers that are either indifferent or that are seeing a benefit in perpetuating the conflict. So at some level you're going to have to address all three. But there also are some clear decisions that only a few number of actors can make, and that's what Crisis Group has been insisting upon from the outset. Outside actors, rather than fueling the conflict, can take very concrete steps to de-escalate the war and bring the parties back to the negotiating table. What was unique, what I saw when I was in Aden, and which is really the product of Crisis Group's work on the ground for over a decade now, is that our team has built relations of trust and confidence with all actors, all conflicting actors on the ground. And that's not just true at the local level, because with our team we then traveled to Saudi Arabia where we met with senior Saudi leaders. We went to other countries in the region where we met with uh, leaders of the Houthi movement. We've spoken to Iranian leaders, and each one of them has told us that they want to hear our views, they respect what we have to say, they think that it's a fair rendition of a very polarized situation and they want to hear our advice and recommendations. One thing that struck me, particularly in, in Aden but also in other parts of the region, is how the actors that Christ Group has been talking to now since 2009 or earlier in some cases about Yemen. Number one, they respect the fact that we're not latecomers who just come there because the country is, is aflame. They know that our team cares about Yemen, has taken time to meet with a wide array of actors there. And they tell us, I remember your report, you were the first who spoke about the southerners. And a southerner who says, we don't particularly agree with what you're saying now, but we know it comes from the right place because you wrote about us and you represented our views fairly a decade ago. We meet with the Houthis, they say, you know, you're being, you're being unfair on some issues, but we remember you come speak to us at a time when nobody wanted to talk to us. The same with the Hadi government, with the same with other with countries, regional countries. And it's that deep c connection that has been established in the case of, of Yemen for a decade uh, that has helped us establish ourselves as an institution that people look to for the answer to their question, which is, what's happening? What can we do about it? What is the solution that's out there that we, we haven't found yet?